Hey guys, hope you're doing well. This is Louie. I'm going to be doing a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in North Node. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. The information is there. If you guys are interested in my book, there's an Amazon link in the description box. You can go straight there. All right. Uh, please, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment below. I do like to interact with every single one of you guys. Let me know if it resonated. All right. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in North Node. So what is in the current energy for Aquarius? What is in the current energy? What is in the current energy? You have dun, 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 dun. the Eight of Wands communication. There could be some sort of communication that's coming in. Somebody could ride a motorcycle. Somebody's traveling somewhere. Okay, with the Eight of Wands. All right, what's the blockage here? Or somebody's finally communicating to you is what I just heard. So what's the blockage? You got the Page of Wands. Give me just one second. I'm sorry, guys. All right, so you got the Page of Wands. So there's some sort of news that you've been expecting. If you see the Eight of Wands with this Page of Wands, that's the Nine of Wands. So you guys have your walls are built. You could have blocked this person, okay, or something like that. Or you have this person blocked and they can't reach out to you, all right? But there's some sort of new endeavor that you could be, like, um, entertaining or something like that with the Page of Wands. What is in the Foundation? what's in the foundation so you got aquarius energy that's your energy all right so you're walking you're moving into calmer what i'm sorry you're jumping you're taking a leap of faith into the unknown kind of like leaving the city behind here with this energy okay the the fool talks about taking this leap of faith for some of you you guys have been waiting a long time to do this okay what is in the recent past what's in the recent past Right, so Ace of Swords, an aha moment, some sort of clarity, okay, that you gained, right? You're speaking your truth here. What is in your mind, in your subconscious? You got the Queen of Pentacles, very reliable, very resourceful. You guys could be embodying this energy, okay? Some of you could be like green witches, white witches here um, with the Queen of Pentacles, all right? You could be thinking about a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, all right? But you're very fertile with ideas as well, okay? Because the rabbit is significant of fertility, okay? So you guys are very reliable. You guys are uh, making good investments too. What's in the near future? We're going to clarify each and every single one of these and see what's going on in the near future you're going to be discontent or bored about something okay this is like the energy of focus on these three cups I'm not realizing that this is a blessing in disguise you see her shirt she's like i'm over it all right so you're kind of like in this kind of um energy you feel like you've had some sort of missed opportunity in the near future for some of you you could be expecting a phone call you see how she's just like kind of like when are they going to call and she puts her phone down um somebody could be pouting um what is hidden what's hidden all right ace of cups new love could be coming in all right a proposal a marriage something like that um this is also like giving love to yourself we're going to clarify that so ace of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy what is in the environment in the environment ooh, in the environment you got the king of swords that's your energy okay so you're very logical you are um you could be studying something new, okay? You're going through some sort of transformation. You're sitting in your throne here. You're speaking your truth, okay? Sometimes when the King of Swords starts speaking, you see their fists, they get kind of like angry or very passionate about something, okay? Let me see all these that fell. You got the Three of Cups with the Five of Swords, Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords. So yeah, there's somebody who's in, who's in complete regret here okay with the five of cups i'm gonna put these all back but they just flipped out of my hand so they're watching you and that's why they could be like stalking you watching you or something like that and that's why they're in regret all right they have anxiety they can't sleep at night all right somebody is being haunted at night or being attacked at night all right there's bringing a lot of confusion all right this is like hallucinations as well so this person could have conjured something up the reason why i say that is because they're very jealous of you this is the person who kind of like 
this could be like a bully of some sort okay they conjured something up and it's haunting them now it returned back to sender it could be three individuals or three people that got together to do this shit but you're sitting in your throne you're speaking your truth okay you're very logical very strategic in the way that you move Let's see. What's in their hopes and fears? What's in their hopes and fears, devil? What's in their hopes and fears for Alpha? The devil talks about Capricorn energy. Okay, so being... Um, addictions comes in many forms. So you guys could be like doing a little bit too much of something. So kind of like balance that out. All right. So you got here, Queen of Wands. Um, in, under your hopes and fears with this queen of wands, this could be like a karmic Aries Leo Sag, somebody could have a black cat, somebody could do like, um, magic or something like that. Okay. Or you could be in your throne. You're sitting, looking good, looking sexy. Okay. With the queen of wands, queen of wands is very flirtatious and she's ready to date. Okay. For some of you. For some of you, I feel like you guys started dating with this Queen of Wands, okay, and then the Four of Cups talks about, ugh, I'm over it, okay, you kind of like started, like maybe went online or something like that, and then just kind of came off of that shit. That's for some of you. So what is in the outcome? You have the Seven of Swords, so that's your energy, Aquarius. Okay, you might be keeping something to yourself. However, this card talks about deceit, lies, there's somebody here trying to steal your ideas, okay, so... That could be significant. Seven of Swords. All right. So. Let's start clarifying and seeing what's going on here. So in the current energy, you had the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands talks about communication. Okay. So what's the Eight of Wands? That could be messages. Somebody could be calling you with some sort of good news. Um, what's the Eight of Wands? Spirit? Eight of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. It could be family, okay, for some of you. There could be an inheritance that you guys could be, like, kind of communicating back and forth about with the Ten of Pentacles. All right, what's the Ten of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands? King of Cups. This could be an answer. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, um, what is this King of Cups? With the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of and the Eight of Wands, sir. You got the Four of Pentacles. So Capricorn energy. You're holding on too tightly to something that you need to let go. It could be like family issues or something like that. Okay, there could be some sort of communication or somebody wants to reach out to you, but maybe you hold some sort of grudge or something like that. I see like things are going to get resolved, whatever this is. You're emotionally stable right now. You're in the, you're kind of like focused on um, building legacy wealth with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, you're very emotionally stable, very nurturing, very, um, very giving, very generous as well. And then with the Four of Pentacles showing up there, yeah, you're still holding on to something, though, at the same time. Some of you could be, um, be money pinching or saving to make a big purchase or something like that. It could be a purchase regarding your your business or whatever you're, you do for work or something like that. Um, what is this Page of Wands and the blockage? This could be a blockage. This could be a bridge. Page of Wands typically talks about a new endeavor. Okay, something that you're very passionate about, um, but it's early on, so it's a new idea or something like that. Then you have the death card. Yeah, you're transforming, okay, so you don't want to hear anything that, let's say, for example, because this talks about somebody coming in with good news, all right? When it's not good news, you don't want to hear it, okay? This is Scorpio energy with the death card, all right? But death signifies transformation. You guys could be transforming and doing something new, okay? For some of you, you're changing, like, your career path. With the death card and the page of wands. What is this? Empress? Yeah, you're building your own thing. Okay, so you guys are sitting here. Um, some of you could be pregnant. Mm. Trigger warning. Um, somebody could have lost a baby here. You have the Empress with the death card and the page of wands as a blockage. So there's like some sort of like communication. That's that's for someone. I'm sorry for my condolences. Um, or you could have lost like a, a mother figure or something like that, but 
let's try to keep it lighter okay so with the empress you're very fertile with ideas okay um you could be like giving birth to a new business or something like that towards libra energy or giving birth to new ideas okay so with a death card showing up it's going to transform your life okay so that's for some of you what's this fool in the foundation what's the fool in the foundation king of pentacles in the reverse What's the fool with the King of Pentacles in the reverse? You guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy here, and then Aquarius, right, or another Aquarius like yourself. With the King of Pentacles in the reverse, it does talk about instability, corruption. It does talk about materialistic. Somebody is definitely materialistic at this time, okay, but there's still some sort of instability. You want to take a leap of faith, but you're scared to take this leap of faith. And at the same time, you feel like you're not going to be stable or you're stuck in a situation because you feel like you're going to be stable. So you're afraid to take this leap of faith. So flip it, switch it. If it's not you, this is your person. Okay. Um, In the reverse. Hmm. What is this? Um, Fool with the King of Pentacles spirit. Some of you are, are, yeah, there's a tower that's coming in. Scorpio, double Scorpio with the death and the tower. Okay, uh, Taurus, Libra, and then King of Pentacles and this fool. So all of a sudden, you might need to go ahead and take a leap of faith and go somewhere. Okay, um, you kind of like, it's in your foundation. For some of you, you're being warned not to move or not to go somewhere, right? It's for your best interest to stay wherever you're at. Okay, with the fool, because this is like taking a leap of faith, but with the tower, you could be scared to take that leap of faith because whatever there, there is, it could be like something with strings attached or something like that. What's this tower? What's the tower? You have the sun. Yeah, something is getting exposed. It could be about a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. That could be something like somebody could have done something illegal here. Um corruption and stuff like that instability this person could be very unstable unstable okay they want to reach out to you but something is being exposed on their part they might not even want to bring it up or be close to you or anything like that if they're going through something so that's for some of you that's not for all of you that was that was a little specific what's the fool with the sun all right aquarius energy the sun leo energy scorpio with the tower and the death card Taurus, Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What is this sun? What are we exposing here? What's the sun? All right, Ten of Swords. And then the High Priestess. All right, for some of you, Ten of Swords, High Priestess, you're keeping your moves silent at this time. Okay, you're exposing people left and right with the Ten of Swords. They're like, they could be like watching something that you're doing online or watching your social media or something like that. It could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn to fill right under that. So Ten of Swords, all right, this is like hitting rock bottom for, for some of you, the person, your person, whoever you were dealing with in the past, they're going through some sort of karmic cycle right now and they're hitting rock bottom. Okay, and you're sitting here like a, with the High Priestess energy. Some of you could do tarot or the occult. You guys could be um, part of the occult or something like that or have some sort of occult knowledge. All right, so with the High Priestess there, you know this. You could have warned somebody about something. Okay, and then the sun there got exposed. What is this Ace of Swords in the recent past spirit? Yeah, and there you're saying something again. So there's something that you're saying that's causing something to happen what's this ace of swords all right that's breakthrough clarity all right in the recent past ace of swords with that one sword will be a three of swords so you were heartbroken okay for some of you because of this heartbreak or something like that you block your heart chakra so you're not allowing anybody in all right this is the two of swords you're at a stalemate all right somebody wants to call a truce with you at this time all right but you're blindfolded with the ability to remove that blindfold see things for what they truly are okay so but you're holding back here, all right? You're at a stalemate. There's a decision that needs to be made. So what is this two of swords? A decision between what and what? And the six of pentacles. No, three of cups. 
So three of cups, a third party situation. Okay, for some of you, you guys are celebrating. Okay, or you guys could have just gone to like a celebration or something like that. Okay. What is the three of cups? You got the one sword with the two of swords. That's three of swords. And then the three of cups, you were placed in a third party situation. Or maybe this is like a, a person that talks about you behind your back here. Okay, with that ace of swords, with the three of cups. Or somebody's coming into like um, realization that you weren't the problem, that there was somebody else that was a problem here. But there's a reconciliation for some of you. You guys are kind of like stuck or in defense about a reconciliation okay because there's going to be a lot of truth that comes with it and there's going to be a lot of hurt that's still there so there's going to be a lot of resentment so for some of you you're you're saying the fuck with it i'm letting it go okay so that's not for all of you but what's this queen of pentacles on your mind what's the queen of pentacles on your mind virgo taurus capricorn energy the star that's you so some of some of you could be um practitioners okay you guys could heal um, people, you guys could be nurses, doctors, nurse practitioners, somebody in the medical field could be significant here, okay, um, herbalists, Reiki healers, tarot readers, anything like that, humanitarians, okay, with the star. You're healing at this time from something with that star. This is a renewal of faith, okay, so for some of you, you guys have some sort of like a renewal of faith when it comes to manifesting, okay, so with that star somebody does want to reconciliate and you've been thinking about it at the same time or maybe even thinking about it like in a in a form of making kind of like going through the through the motions of it all if this person reaches out to me what would i say and blah 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 and go off of that with like a little story in your head okay so that's for some of you but you're healing here at the same time okay you're already ready for somebody to come in so you could speak your truth so what is this Queen of Pentacles with the star with the star spirit? What's the Queen of Pentacles with the star? All right, Seven of Wands. You need to set some sort of healthy boundaries. For some of you, you're protecting yourself. You guys are green witches. You guys, it's okay to like protect yourself. You're not doing harm to anybody by returning to sender and stuff like that. That's for some of you. Okay, with that seven of wands, because it's telling you here, you have to protect yourself. You're in defensive mode. You're like, namaste, stay the fuck away. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with anybody. This could be options coming in, sexual um, options that are coming in, and you're like, no, I don't want it. Okay, with the seven of wands. All right, some of you could be in a seven-year cycle, but being celibate. Okay, so... What is, um, for some of you, you guys are in the public eye and this seven of wands here because it comes after the six of wands. You guys are in the public eye, but there needs to be some sort of boundary that you need to set. Okay. For some of you, you guys do tarot online or something like that. You guys are tarot readers or something like that. You do readings on people. Okay. But you need to set some sort of healthy boundary like with that seven of wands. It could be towards an Aries Leo Sag. But what's this four of cups in the near future? What's the four of cups in the near future? So this is talking about a missed opportunity. Okay, it could be with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or something like that. But let's see. What's the four of cups? You got the four of cups with the eight of pentacles. Some of you could feel like you've missed an opportunity to work um, with someone. Okay. Or for some of you, you guys are bored at whatever it is that you do and you're very skillful at something else. You guys are going to be changing a uh, career path. Okay. For some of you, you guys are changing jobs. All right. Some of you could be working from home with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. But very skillful, very crafty, whatever it is that you do. All right. And then with that Four of Cups, some of you are just like getting fed up. Okay. To take orders from stupid people. So you're becoming an empress. You're bossing up and you're going to like give birth to a new, a new business or something like that. So good for you. What's this Ace of Cups under Hidden? Yeah, you're moving into calmer waters when it comes to love, all right? Or loving yourself. For some of you, um, going on a trip or something like that could be significant, okay? Because this person is talking about, like, traveling. She might not even tell anybody. They're not even looking back, okay? So, Six of Swords. Moving on to calmer waters. Something is getting resolved, okay, when it comes to love here. All right, somebody could be at a distance from you. That's not for everybody, but, yeah, for some of you... That's the problem here. What is the Ace of Cups with the Six of Swords? 
Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is very logical as well. This is the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. You and your partner could be uh, marrying each other. You and your person could be marrying each other. It's funny. Last night I had a dream. Like Martin Luther King. No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, Martin Luther King. I think he was an Aquarius too. So you could be dealing with another Aquarius or a Virgo. Okay, for some of you. Or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is Pentacles. All right. But yeah, I had a dream last night. And it was like... There's a lot of things in my dreams, but one part of my dream that I do remember, it was like these black silhouettes, they were twins, and they were, there was one door here and one door here, one door here, and they were both walking out of the door and closing it at the same time. So, that's almost like mirroring energy, okay? So, you and your twin could be mirroring each other at this time, all right, with the Queen of Swords showing up. You're like, come hither. I'm ready to tell you my truth. I'm ready to go ahead and cut you. Go straight for the jugular because when you're with your twins and stuff like that, um, and you're hurt, it's okay to hurt people. It's okay to hurt them. You know, it's not, mm, let me take that back. It's not okay to hurt them, but you're going to speak your truth. Okay, it's okay because you're like, you don't hold back when it's your real twin. You know, you tell them exactly what you feel and exactly what you mean. All right, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini like yourself. All right, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is a person who's very objective as well. So she's seeing things from every perspective. All right, when it comes to love. All right, for some of you, you guys are ready. You're like, come in, love. I'm ready now. Okay, however, the sword is there and I could cut it off whenever I want. What is this King of Swords in the environment? So I feel like that's you. You could be embodying both the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. You're whole and complete all by yourself. I just heard that. So what is this King of Swords? You guys could be seeing a lot of butterflies. Okay, yellow, black butterflies. That signifies death. Death signifies transformation. Okay, so... For some of you, not death like you're going to croak, but a death, an ending to something so that a new beginning starts. Okay, so, all right, yeah. Some of you could be online, doing something online, speaking your truth online. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, energy, okay, all fixed signs. You guys could be online with the world, speaking your truth, and it's bringing in bank. For some of you, you guys are going to be traveling the world. You guys are going to get some sort of money so that you guys could travel the world. So get your passport ready. You're ready. Okay. For some of you here, you guys are sitting in your throne and this this job that you have, whatever money is going to be worldwide, is almost like going to be um, like a business that you could even go international with. All right. Or inter it's going to be like you're going to be known internationally. I don't know. The world is going to know who the hell you are with the king of swords because you speak your truth you guys could be like inspirational speakers or something like that motivational speakers all right you're very smart so this could very this could be something that's very attractive to somebody because you're looking kind of like attractive here in there with the queen of wands what's this queen of wands for it queen of wands with the knight of pentacles in the reverse somebody is definitely um very lazy okay this is like somebody who let's see with the knight of pentacles in the reverse is stagnant energy all right and that's your hopes and fears so you're in a in a state of like fear of this person that this person could be like making you go stagnant with your money or something like that there's some sort of magic so that somebody doesn't reach out to you here what is this the emperor so that your baby daddy doesn't reach out okay so that you don't meet your emperor all right whoever this is has done some sort of magic or something like that so that you and your emperor don't get together or don't meet okay there's some sort of like stagnicity okay so what's the emperor aries energy queen of wands aries leo sag virgo taurus capricorn with the nine of pentacles what is this spirit Somebody could be taking advantage of their authority, okay, if they're like a boss figure or something like that with the Emperor. Very stubborn. Um, and the Queen of Wands is very feisty, so it all matches. Okay, they're fire signs here. What is this Queen of Wands with the Emperor? The Judgment. All right, so somebody's being judged for whatever it is that they did to you. Okay, it could be from your ancestors. Your ancestors could be doing a number on these people. Okay, with the judgment, you've had some sort of awakening. For some of you, you want these people to be awakened so that they can leave you the fuck alone. 
okay, and stop sending some sort of energy your way because you don't want that shit. You want to be emperor. You want to be an emperor at this time. You, it's an emperor to the empress and the empress to the emperor. You want somebody who's nurturing, somebody who is giving an equal give and take, somebody who you could build with, okay, and then with the judgment. I feel like it's coming in, okay. The judgment also talks about a reconciliation. So for some of you, you're talking to, you're going to be reconciling with somebody, possibly even working with this person, all right. But in the outcome, you have the seven of swords. Somebody's still a thief, a liar, okay, 404 on the clock. So that could be significant, <laughs> You guys could be seeing 444 or 444 or 404. Okay, what's the Seven of Swords? What was that? It was going to pop out. With the Six of Wands. Yeah, some of you are in the public eye and they're stealing your ideas. Okay, so Seven of Swords. Okay, somebody's like watching whatever it is that you got going on. Okay, trying to steal your ideas. Six of Wands. Okay, if you, you're you going to be victorious, whatever this is. You were built for fame with the star showing up, the world showing up. You guys are built to be, um, you guys were are here for a purpose, and that purpose could be to illuminate the masses. Okay, so enlighten people with your, with your uh, knowledge. Okay, because some of you are very smart here, very victorious. All right, sitting in your throne, you're victorious. The wreath signifies victory. Okay, so six of wands, seven of swords. Somebody wants to knock you the fuck off your throne, <laughs> or your. You could be sitting in a white horse, and that you could be sitting in a horse and that high horse or something like that, and somebody wants to knock you off of that. Okay, because they see you doing good, or they see a lot of people rooting for you here with the six of wands. All these people are your fans. What's the seven of swords? Aquarius energy. It could be another Aquarius like yourself. What is Aquarius? I mean, what is uh seven of swords? With the Six of Wands, the Hermit. Somebody who ghosted you, a Virgo could be significant. Okay, you're very wise with ideas. Somebody is definitely trying to take those ideas from you. Okay, you're very, like, knowledgeable or something like that. Somebody could be stealing somebody's work. <laughs> I just heard that. And then with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Aquarius, the Hermit. What's this hermit? Some of you could be like isolating yourself too. I think that's an ancestor, yo. Hold on. Let me see. What's the hermit? Yeah, with the five of wands. Yeah, there. this could be like somebody who ghosted you. They're having like a lot of fights right now or something like that. Um, this could also be an ancestor fighting for you, okay? They're going to step in the middle and not allow this person to take from you anything, okay? So, that's for some of you. Let's see. Let's, let's get some advice. Um, pull some oracles. All right, let's pull some of these and some of these and some of those. And... All right, so fertility. Some of you could be pregnant. Okay, very pregnant or very um, fertile with ideas. <laughs> or very pregnant. All right, what do we got for Aquarius spirit? What do we got? We have direction. Okay, so you guys could be definitely reading, okay, or writing or doing a book or something like that with the direction here. You see that book has a lot of knowledge. Okay, the blue light has to do with like the throat chakra. Okay, so your throat chakra, you need to speak your truth. Do not deviate from your path. Attract a mentor if necessary. Plan where you want to be. All right, so write things down. That's how you manifest things into reality. Okay, so you have foresight. Okay, so foresight, pay attention to things that are important to ensure wealth. All right, be farsighted and alert. So notice the reoccurring signs that you see from like spirit. It could be like synchronicities. It could be numbers. It could be like 444 or it could be like in your dreams. You like I'm seeing twins in my dreams, two black silhouettes, two people mirroring each other. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like that energy is what I'm picking up here. You have savings. So some of you could be saving. All right. So that you could get something um, moving. All right. Uh, you always need to put something off for a bad day. Create savings for the future. 
So for some of you, you guys are seeing something before it actually happens. So pay attention. So save some money. Okay, you might need to like make a, a big purchase or something like that. And you're saving. You have to like um, save money at this time. All right, and then we have moving up. So you're very connected to source here. Some of you, um, career is on the rise. New offers, opportunities, and opportunity salary salary is in, is gonna increase. Go to the next level. All right, so you guys are definitely getting to the next level here, in whatever it is that you're doing. You guys, very guys, a good level like four. Oh, curious, I'm rising and Venus. Clarify direction. So do not deviate from your path. Attract a mentor if necessary. Plan where you want to be. What is this spirit? All right, so you got it with the page of pentacles. Yeah, making plans, new job practicality, practicality and potential. So with the page of pentacles, you guys could use like divination tools or something like that. Um, but yeah, that talks about making plans, write things down so that you could actually get them off the ground. Page of Pentacles, that's kind of like immature energy. You, you're kind of like getting something or a message could be coming in. Okay, and it could be a message from your ancestors trying to guide you in the right direction here. All right, Five of Wands. Fight for whatever direction you want to take. Okay, so it does talk about arguments, aggression, chaos, and competition. All right, but... With that five of wands, there could be people that are fighting because of whatever it is that you got going on. Or you might not want to write a book or something like that because it might cause a fight. All right. That's for some of you. Don't worry about the fight that is going to cause. Speak your truth. Okay. Your ancestors are telling you to go ahead and do this. Fight for what's yours. With that page of pentacles, fight for, fight for it. What's the five of wands? Yeah, judgment, the all-seeing eye. Okay, so reflection, reckoning, awakening, a spiritual calling. So fight for your calling, all right? So get things moving, all right, with the judgment. What's this foresight? Pay attention to things that are important to ensure wealth. What's this foresight? Be farsighted and alert. All right, with the three of swords. You guys are heartbroken or you see a heartbreak coming in, all right, with the three of swords. Ten of swords in the reverse. Okay, so... With foresight, you guys are finally seeing that you need to release something. Okay, there's two. That's like you overcoming defeat, overcoming this heartbreak, being placed in a third party situation or something like that. A third party doesn't have to be another woman, another man, or anything like that. It could be this person chose their family, they chose their friends, they chose drugs, they chose whatever the fuck they wanted to choose, but it wasn't you. So you had to go ahead and mend that. Okay, put a band aid on your heart. All right, so heartbreak, trauma, grief, and depression. You guys went through it. With this foresight here, you guys are definitely seeing that you need to release this shit. Let it go. Okay, with that Ten of Swords. You're surviving. Okay, you escape some sort of ruin. So, this is not happening to you. It's happening for you. Okay, rejection is a form of protection. What savings? You always need to put something off for a bad day. So, let's say, for example, your, your card might be having problems. Or I'm just picking up card, dude. Um, so, let's see. If somebody is, maybe you're going to have like a unexpected expense that you're going to have to pay for. Okay, so just kind of like keep money saved. You have the world. Some of you could be wanting to like travel or something like that, but you guys can't save. All right, just save some, like, let's say for example, if you save $5 a day, five times five, that's 25, you know, that's $25 a week and five, 25 times four. You guys do the math. I'm bad at math. So you guys could be like saving something, okay, or something like that to go on a trip of some sort, the world, okay? Um, in the reverse, let's see. There's some sort of stagnation and you don't feel complete yet, okay? But you need to start saving. Or you have been saving so that you can make a purchase here or go on this trip, okay? So... I feel like the saving is not yet completed, but the two of swords, you guys have a tough decision to make. Maybe it is to travel or to like, um, or you're not going to be able to or something like that. Blind to the truth with the two of swords. Okay, you're stuck in the middle of a situation, all right, at a stalemate. Two of swords, you're kind of like blocked. What is this? What's the two of swords for the world in the reverse? Ace of Cups. 
So, new love, creativity, emotional um, awakening. Okay, I feel like you're going through some sort of an, an awakening. I feel like you guys are going to go eat, pray, love, or maybe you want to go eat, pray, love, go to Italy, go somewhere and read a book, um, see the world or something like that, but there's not enough money to do that yet. You guys are going to have that money to do it. You're going to have emotional, uh, emotional fulfillment. Okay, with the Ace of Cups. If it's not yet the time, you will get to do it. You will get to do this. Okay, that's for some of you. All right, but priorities come first, okay, with this saving. So piggyback, some of you are saving to do this and go somewhere and there's where you're going to meet somebody new with the Ace of Cups or there's where you're going to love on yourself, like just kind of like love you. All right, pamper yourself. What's moving up? Career on the rise, new offers and opportunities, salary increase, go to the next level. All right, King of Sword, Queen of Swords. Okay, you guys are definitely honest, protective, witty, intelligent. You guys are saying your truth. All right, because you're saying your truth, you're moving on up. Okay, so whatever it is that you do, all right, is something that you use your words for, your intellect, your smarts for. Okay, what is this Queen of Swords with the moving on up? That's you guys moving on up, connected to Source. All right, with the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you could definitely do tarot. Okay, so change destiny, um, turning point, good luck. So you're at a, at a state of like good luck at this moment. Okay, so Wheel of Fortune, destiny is playing in your favor. Okay, when it comes to a career and the rise with new offers, new opportunity and salary increase with the Wheel of Fortune, y'all, you guys are, you're about to like hit some sort of jackpot. For some of you, you guys are moving on up, so somebody's going to come back and you need to cut that cycle. Sorry, I had to say that. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Because I see this little devil coming back around. Could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. <laughs> what is this Wheel of Fortune? All right, with the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So, no, this actually, the Nine of Cups in the reverse talks about loss of wealth, unlucky, failure, and arrogance. So don't allow, like, you're going to be wealthy, okay, but don't let your pride or your it's like almost doing things so that other people can see you doing it okay don't do that kind of stuff that talks about a lot of pride and stuff so that could make you or break you that's where if you sit there and you're like smug and shit and arrogant all right that's going to be the loss of you with the will of fortune okay that's going to make you bad luck have some sort of bad luck okay so don't be arrogant What's the Nine of Cups in the reverse? Sure. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that's watching you, and they're the ones that are arrogant. Okay, because you're sitting here in your, in your destiny and, and your wealth. This person wants to have their cake and eat it too. Who's this Nine of Cups? Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's a very confident person. Uh, somebody who comes in for a short amount of time, not a long time. This could be a player. Okay, very charming and energetic. Um... Knight of Wands is somebody who's very fickle. Could be an Aries Leo Sag for some of you. All right, but I see you guys moving forward. I see you guys moving up. I see you guys saving. I see you guys kind of like getting in your, getting in your, um, in your energy, you know, like to get wherever it is that you want to get. So good for you. Let me just pull some of these really quick and then we're done. Angel guys, fair guys, good love and light for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, you must forgive if you want to be free to do it yourself. Do it for yourself. Okay, so um, for some of you, you guys are holding on to resentment and stuff like that. Just let it go. Release them with love and light. Goodbye. All right, you must forgive people, and it's not for them, it's for you. You don't have to call them and say, hey, I'm so sorry, whatever, or, 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 or hey, I forgive you. You don't have to do that. Just do it for yourself so that you can move on. Listen to your body and do what it's asking of you. So if some of you are tired and shit, go to sleep, all right? If some of you um are getting, like, downloads and stuff like that, listen to your body. Listen to your... To your Intuition. <clears throat> I'm also getting an energy here of a person who works too much. There's too much work, no play. Okay, so 
what has your inner voice been asking of you listen and act so some of you is definitely your intuition don't dismiss intuitive downloads some of you could be meditating at this time okay so meditating contemplating working on your next move but keeping it to yourself all right no one said this whole life thing was a race it's okay to slow down some of you you guys are in a, in a point to like burnout okay that's for some of you don't burn yourself out if you guys are in school and stuff like that um that could be significant all right stop looking outside for yourself stop looking outside yourself for the answers you already know them all right so again your intuition's on point don't dismiss your intuitive downloads they're on point all right so it says here be authentic anything else is just exhausting okay so be yourself don't dim your light in order to fit in i had a problem doing that and you know to this day that also like it always comes to me and stuff like that but i'm not going to stop my purpose i know what my purpose is okay so you guys have to be in that kind of energy as well all right you know what is coming for you is going to be new beginnings okay so you will start a new job a new life clean sweep over hit the reset button y'all have to reset okay so that's what i got for you aqua i hope you guys have a great day all right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.